Yo, what's up guys? PK Sparks here, and welcome back for some more Cave Story. Oh, nope, that's not right. Welcome back, Seth Bling here. That's also not right. Hey guys, WaffleDub37 here, and let's go back into Cave Story. Yep, that's better. Yeah, those are two of my favorite other YouTubers besides, well, myself, and my, my well, my third other favorite YouTuber doesn't have, uh, voice intros, because he does, like, annotation-based commentary. I guess. So, at the end of the last part, I got my missile launcher to level 3, which is always nice. Now we're proceeding back to the egg corridor. Still don't want to hit Basil. Why don't I just shoot? Invisible health pickup things. Nice. I wasn't aware those were there. Yeah. He's a magical boss who flying through the sky on a magical journey just for you and I. Yay for ASD movie references. I can't shoot down when I'm sitting over a ledge this stupid. So I'm just gonna shoot everything in my path because I have no reason not to. It a little bit. Okay, I can't get that right now. So I'm just going to proceed onward. Onward, I say. Oh no! Don't fall. You have died. Do you want to retry? Yes. That was pathetic. That was absolutely pathetic. Uh, say hi to- Not again! Not again! <laughs> I do not- <laughs> I should be better than this! I also like how you're shooting down the bosses, so they can't actually hurt you. Anyway, as I was about to say, just making my way back to the beginning, which is what I need to do next. Chewing down evil things in my path. Not hitting Basil this time. Getting hit by stupid enemies that don't even matter. Going down here, which is not as my idea. Killing this beetle, not sure what their actual names are anymore. They're not bosses, the big ones are the bosses. Oh, come on! Anyway, let's try that again. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna pause the recording and get back to you when I made successfully through the egg corridor. Alright? Also, I forgot to mention, I'll unpause if I die. Nothing noteworthy really happened, I just wanted to make sure that you didn't have to sit through me dying to Basil again, if it happened. <clears throat> just to go back in the teleporter, I guess. That was painful! A little bit. So, Sue's talking with Kazuma again. Here I am just ma holding X while matching Z to speed through the text because it doesn't actually matter what it says, really. Also, this shelter? Yeah, he's in the bushland slash plexus slash grass town, whatever it's called, depending on the translation. I guess. Yeah. And of course. Oh. Hey, King. Hey, Jack. <laughs> I do not know what's happening, actually. Oh, yeah, I do. I'm not saying. So now I'll enter this. Oh, no! Sue's in the cage! You know that purple... Mimiga, oh, the purple-shirted Mimiga who's harassing Sue right now. Uh, he gives you one of the battle weapons in the game later on. So, that's fun. I guess. It's a good weapon. I 
I can't wait until I get the machine gun, which will be in the sand zone, which is the region after Grass Town. I can walk to Grass Town now, because I talked to Sue. Which means... This song is actually called Off to Grass Town in the Organaya player that comes with the game. So this guy lost the keys to his house, and we need to get them. And we meet a new type of enemy here. Well, it looks like a new- well, it doesn't look like a new type of enemy, but it does have a different attack scheme. The ones that were in the egg order. They fly. Which totally qualifies as a different attack scheme. Ding ding! Yes, his name's Santa. No, you, you don't have to go through- and yes, you do have to go through the fireplace in, in his house. Later on. Wait, he can walk across the pit there? Okay, huh? I, I, why can't I do that? And... Shooting things. Now, to talk to him, I'll give you- Thanks, it really saved me there. Here, you can have this. Got the fireball! Congratulations! <laughs> this is a pretty good weapon. I will say that. Chaco's house. I'm really not a fan of this launcher, honestly, because it uses up ammo and that ammo is kind of hard to get sometimes. Oh, and here's another Cthulhu. A hole! A soldier from the surface. I thought the war was over already. Eh, whatever. We're going ahead. Watch out for the power critters. When they land on you, it hurts. The blue ones, which I have barely enough health to kill at this point in the game. I'm just gonna make my way through this group, large-ish group of enemies. Enough experience to level up the fireball. And getting hit by things to level it down at the same time. Not intentionally, but it's happening. So now I just have to shoot a little bit upward. This is one of the few weapons that you can fire in non-cardinal directions. In fact, as far as I can tell, it's the only one. Well, that's the one you. And I got the blue fireballs, which do the most damage. And I get hit by the mega crater, which is a fun doll. Burn an ape! Even though Quote isn't Trogdor, he still gets to burn an ape things. <laughs> Nerd. Anyway, don't hit those spikes, they, they're the single most deadly thing in the game. Yes, they they actually do more damage than basil with their arm. Probably better to hit, try to hit the basket with polar star than having to angle the fireball. But I guess I can check us out, so I feel like because if I can can I? Yes, there's a save point up there. So now hello there. Goodness, that's a dangerous item we've got there. Are you do a traveler? Beyond the flipping flames, you spy a hole. The flames are on the way, you can't get past. I told you we'd have to go through fireplaces. <laughs> okay. Now let's sleep on our bed. Well, let's just say Quote gets a little one night stand with Chaco. And if we check our inventory, we now finally have Chaco's lipstick. <laughs> anyway. I've got a whole minute left, so I get- and the fireball's already level 3, so I can't end this episode the same way I did the last one! So, I guess I'll go out and try to kill the jellyfish things. But, you know what? I'll just- I don't know what I'm gonna do now. For the next- 40 seconds? Yeah, 40 seconds. Actually, you know what? I don't know how I'm gonna end this video. By doing this, burning everyone. This is chaotic, and also it's I only have less than 10 seconds left. So, you know what? This is now Waffle After 7 signing out. <laughs>